Hey YouTube. <coughs> There's the uh, rusted mangled mesh in easy to handle pieces to throw on my truck to take to the dump of the 1989 frame. And <coughs> I'll tell you what, when you pick up those pieces compared to the steel I have, there's a major difference. I think this truck's going to weigh 500 pounds more than it did when it was new. Anyway, um, I have the uh, axle off the frame and you can see that I also have the springs. I just cut these front uh, spring mounts off with a torch because I made new ones. I just got to heat up the... I got to heat this up a little bit so that I can get that uh, bolt out of there and I'd have to probably get new bushings for that. So I also got some new springs and I'm going to take this whole thing apart and buy new U-bolts for it and stuff and change the fluid in the rear axle and then I'm going to buy new cables and check the brakes and do whatever that needs and I'll probably get new tires but I won't do that until the truck is all done. So I have to get rid of that stuff and get it to the dump. Meanwhile I was going to buy a new set of springs and I went down to the junkyard, a local junkyard, and found these from an 89 truck and they are in excellent shape. The bushings are good, the bolts came, are, came right out of them, all the leaves are in good condition. So I'm going to use the, these, they were $45 compared to the $300 that I was going to spend. So that side is still good but I'm going to take and um, uh, sandblast that <coughs> set of springs to see if there's any cracks or anything in them. If there is I'll replace that but this one that has the broken leaf on it I'm definitely going to replace this one. But I do want to change the bolts and all just in case I have problems with something down the road I can get at this stuff. So, um, here we have the springs and now we have the new frame getting ready to be hooked up to the existing truck. You can see I started working on this. Um, I'm cleaning out a spot here and what I'm going to do is the um, frame, let me get out a piece of frame here. <coughs> This is a piece of the existing of, of the new frame that I have, and you can see it actually fits over top of it. But that's not how I'm going to put it on. In order to keep the truck in good alignment, I need to I need to work with this this edge and the top of the frame. That's where all the measurements were taken from. So I'm going to have to put that on there like this and then enca encapsulate that with some other steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to make something that goes around this and comes over and reaches this and then I can weld all that together. So I'm going to plate this and make a channel to go around this whole thing which Chevy originally had but it's really not that great of a piece that they had there. So I cut it off where I'm going to uh, bring this together and I'll let you keep you updated with how that's going to work out. But uh, it's nice to see the new frame so close to being bolted in or welded in and once I get it welded in I got to raise the back of the frame up off the ground a little bit. I think those uh, uh, slotted <coughs> or I mean those hold for, uh, two by two uh, um, uh, yeah, two by two, I can't even, it's a square stock with the holes in. I think I can use those to get the height I need. I need to be 32 and a half inches high on the frame at the back of the frame and I think I can get that with those just by removing the bolts and moving them up higher. So once this is aligned with the top of this and on the edge and the face, then I'll make some plates to come from here 
to go over top of the other frame when it's against this. And I want to try and do it so I can make them both the same way for both sides. You can see I left that frame a little long over there just to get the old frame out. I need to take a couple bolts out and rearrange those fuel lines so that they're handier to get at and a little easier to work on. It's one good thing about doing it yourself. You don't, you're not relying on the Chevy engineers that uh, never got under a truck in their life to work on it. So that's where I'm at so far. And um, once I <coughs> excuse me, once I get this all done, then I'll be able to weld this together and then come putting the truck back together. So today uh, is actually the first day that the truck is actually being uh, put back together. So I'm working on putting it together rather than taking things apart. So. So far so good and thanks for watching the videos and I'll keep you updated when I get it welded together and when I make what I need to to join those two pieces. Have a good one.